So Drake just dropped his EP Scary Hours 2 and the first song that we're covering is Wants and Needs featuring Lil Baby. What a banger, man. This is absolutely crazy. And guys, listen, leave a like on this video and let us know who had the better part on this song, Lil Baby or Drake. I'm probably going to have to give it to Drake at this point just because, you know, I was so hungry to hear from him. And this absolutely blew me out of the water, you know, and it it's, gives me 2016 views vibes, but also like it's like sticking Lil Baby on there and it just absolutely works, right? Yeah, and it always works just because, you know, we've seen them work so well together in the past on songs like Yes Indeed, where this that chemistry so and strong. the energy G man that they bring and what really impressed me about Drake on this song was the fact of how easily and smoothly he was able to transition from you know his rapping verse to the smooth hook exactly the hook took me off guard because like you know I thought it was going to be com a completely different vibe than what we were getting on the verse right and then he switches up the energy and then little baby picks it back up again so it kind of has that roller coaster of emotion not only that but the production is absolutely fantastic yeah I think we, we got Cardo and 40 on the beat really solid production and you know i like what drake's rapping about and that's kind of something i'm going to say you know with every single song we review from this ep is that the content matters there here he you know he's talking about how like he puts out an album out it gets slandered and then years later people are calling it a classic so it's kind of talking to how you know we're so easy to judge projects nowadays and we don't give it the right time to really marinate i think that's what i'm gonna have to do with these like lead singles possibly for certified lover boy we don't know if they're going to be on it but um I have to say that I have to give it time now because uh, back when I was doing, um, you know, the whole Drake thing and I was trying to get into his music, you know, I would judge too quick. There was too many new sounds for me to, you know, interpret. And then after that, I would just call it like, OK, it's a mismatch type stuff. But with this sort of rollout, I'm really happy because I kind of understand what, you know, Drake's done in his past rollouts and how it's a whole diversity thing. And that's what I got from this song is because, you know, it didn't sound like Yes Indeed at all. It was no, a complete, it didn't. completely different vibration. Um, not only that, but, you know, Drake is showing that not only could he perform a melodic hook but he could carry a super sharp flow um you know even like as i said before it has that views energy but it also has like that aggressive more life energy as well like where you're just like whoa okay and you get into the beat and then the and, groove with it and little baby really held his own just because he locks into this really like quick and consistent flow and you know what's amazing is that even though little baby has reached the mainstream heights over the last couple of years that hunger is still there. You yeah, know, he's you never know. lazy on features. Yeah. He's never, never lazy on features. And he's going to come in on this one and absolutely um, blow your mind because it's going to be so clear and concise. Um, yet, like, you know, you hear that 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 signature little baby delivery with it and the way he plays with his voice. It's super well done. And I really do think that this should be a lead single who, on the who album. Who do you think had the better performance between, between the two oh, of them? Oh, I said Drake. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Drake. You said you're going to stick with Drake? I'm going to stick with Drake. I think overall, Drake, just because of that smooth transition from from verse to hook but that little baby verse at the end was so hard it was man. super hard yeah yeah that no but it's, it's not to say that like little baby didn't hold his own it was just like you know drake had most of the song for me and, he did, and yeah. all, you know most of the vibe was around drake and you know the whole hook was there and then you know he obviously had his fantastic verse and i'm just super impressed man you know this is absolutely crazy yeah it really is just because you know I, I want Drake to keep collaborating with, with artists that he has good chemistry with. And I hope that, you know, on Certified Lover Boy, we, we get more Lil Baby, we get more Lil Wayne. We get the people that Drake really connects with the best and maybe also some new artists that he hasn't worked with before. But this song, do you, do you see it fitting on a CLB album? Depends the aesthetic CLB goes for. If, yeah. if, it, if it's R&B and if it's more melodic, then no. But... If it has the diversity that I think it will have, then yes. I think that this could definitely be a standout, a standout track. And, you know, I, I think Drake is perfect at knowing where the market is. And, you know, people are craving this type of song. He's going to see, you know, the reception that all, all three songs get and then decide from there. Anyways, guys, if you want to actually stay tuned with us and watch our album review of Certified Lover Boy, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, I, I'm just, I'm excited, man. I Absolutely. can't wait to see where this And goes. also, um, we're doing more stuff like this for, for this whole uh, drop tonight because we're reviewing also the other songs so guys we're gonna have other videos attached to this thank you guys for coming in and welcome to the nfr experience